kids learn it too. Let's learn about the lunar eclipse. It's when the moon darkens as it passes into the Earth's shadow. Please don't miss this. Let's learn about the lunar eclipse. The Earth passes between the moon and the sun till the Earth's shadow I kiss. I'm the moon, you can see me. Day or night, when you look into the sky, I'm the Earth's natural satellite. You may be asking yourself, what's a lunar eclipse? It's when the Earth passes between the moon and sun like this. When the sun hits the Earth, the Earth casts a shadow upon me. We'll learn about the shadows, names, and the stages of the eclipse. You will see the penumbras, a partially shaded outer region of the shadow cast by an opaque object like the Earth not letting the light pass. The umbra is the fully shaded area you see here caused by the opaque object Earth not letting any light pass there. There are seven stages to this event you will see Caused by the penumbra and umbra You'll learn these names with me Stage one is the penumbra It's when I enter the penumbra here And a partial shadow is cast on my surface Over there Stage two is a partial eclipse When the earth moves between the sun and the moon A bit more casting more of a shadow upon me The total eclipse is the name of stage three It's when the earth blocks the rays of the Sun completely the maximum eclipse is stage four. You may see me turn a reddish color. This is the middle of the total eclipse. To me, there is no other. Stage five is called the total eclipse, and it's when I touch the umbra internally once again. Stage six is called the partial eclipse, and it's when the moon leaves the umbra, moving to the penumbra again. The penumbra. And is the final stage you see It's when the moon leaves the penumbra And the sun shines itself on me Let's learn about the lunar eclipse It's when the moon darkens As it passes into the earth's shadow Please don't miss this Let's learn about the lunar eclipse The earth passes between the moon and the sun Till the earth's shadow I kiss Let's learn about the lunar eclipse It's when the moon darkens As it passes into the earth's shadow This is a total solar eclipse Come see my narrow path in which I travel on the Earth's surface This is a total solar eclipse My totality is awe-inspiring so don't miss this This celestial event is called a solar eclipse Let me tell you about it so you can understand all this A solar eclipse is caused by the moon that is me I pass in between the sun and the earth till black is what you see Here are several stages and some visual tips That you can use to recognize a total solar eclipse Stage 1 is called a partial eclipse Is when the sun's disk is partially blocked by the moon like this Stage 2 is called Bailey's Beats Which are bright spots of light It's when the lying valleys on the moon's edge allow sunlight through that's right. Stage 3 is sometimes called the diamond ring. This stage is key in which marks the last few seconds before totality. The last bit of sunlight that is able to shine through the low-lying valleys creates a single flash of light on the side of the moon. The fourth and most important stage is called totality. When the moon completely covers the disk of the sun, this is what you see. Then comes the final stages in which the sun will grow a crescent on the side of the Bailey's beads what's one time shown but before you see this celestial event there's a few safety precautions for eye injuries to prevent this is a total solar eclipse come see my narrow path in which i travel on the earth's surface this is a total solar eclipse my totality is awe-inspiring, so don't miss this. On Monday, August 21st, 2017, there's a total solar eclipse North America will see. But the totality you want to see can only be observed from Lincoln Beach, Oregon, to Charleston, South Carolina, so I've heard. The path of totality is 70 miles wide, they say, seen in 14 states in the continental U.S. of A. Totality lasts a few minutes, so be sure to be there and please use special safety glasses so your vision isn't impaired. You can buy these special solar eclipse glasses online, so protect your eyes from the sun while having a great time. This 
is a total solar eclipse Come see my narrow path in which I travel on the Earth's surface This is a total solar eclipse My totality is awe-inspiring, so don't miss this A solar eclipse has several areas we need to discuss Take a look at this picture to learn each part is a must This is a total solar eclipse My totality is awe-inspiring So don't miss this I'm a star Called the sun I'm the center of our solar system Hydrogen H2 and 7.8% helium HE. I'm a star called the sun. I'm the center of our solar system. You revolve around me as we fly around the galaxy. My core is 25% of my total mass and 27 million degrees my energy is the reason there is life on earth there'll be no charge cause I'm totally free my mass makes up 99.8% of our solar system nothing in our systems hot as me I'm a star called the Sun center of our solar system you revolve around me as we fly around the galaxy Surface web. 
whether it's day or night When the earth spins on its axis, ocean levels stay the same Then the moon's gravitational pull creates the tides that we see change 238,900 miles from the earth Is the distance measured when the first spaceship landed on my turf the reason you see one half of my surface all the time Is because my rotation's the same speed as the earth taught in this rhyme It takes 27 earth days for me to rotate once around There is no air on my surface so you won't hear any sound On the moon, earth's natural satellite I rotate the same speed as the earth and I'm a natural source of light On the moon my appearance is gray and white You only see one half of my surface Whether it's day or night One is heliocentrism This is something you'll learn here Who is Nicholas Copernicus And this I'll also share for over 1500 years ancient man thought The earth was the center of the solar system That was what was taught This theory was called the geocentric model Shown here which means the earth was the center of the universe I do share But in the 16th century Things began to change A man named Nicholas Copernicus Did decide to rearrange He introduced a new and at the time crazy theory Placing the sun or soul in the center of the solar system you can see this new theory of the solar system revolving around the sun was called the heliocentrism model to say it is so fun in the 17th century his idea did take hold when evidence was compiled by these astronomers was told Tycho Brahe, Johannes Kepler and Galileo Galilei you see used different strategies to prove Copernicus's theory Tycho used parallax measurements and shot for the stars when he did this, he recorded data when he focused on Mars. Johannes Kepler used Tycho's information and found this. The orbits of the planets and Earth were ellipses. Galileo Galilei used the newly invented telescope to see far to discover the Milky Way cloud were actually stars. Galileo also learned that the sun had spots on it. I sing this indicated the sun was definitely rotating. All this info proved that the heliocentric Centrism model was right From that point on it was accepted All from staring up at night One is heliocentrism This is something you'll learn here Who is Nicholas Copernicus And this I'll also share A galactic tides A tidal force so real Experienced by objects By gravitational field Of a galaxy Such as the Milky Way But these types of tides Only happen in space There are particular areas Concerning galactic tides Like galactic collisions When two galaxies collide The disruption of a dwarf Or a starlight galaxy Which creates a new elliptic Super galaxy. These tidal effects are usually limited to the immediate surroundings of a galaxy, it is true. In theory, in about 5 billion years, astronomers have theorized our galaxy's biggest fears. Astronomers think the Milky Way will be pulled by gravity towards Andromeda, the nearest galaxy. A galactic tide will pull these two galaxies in a close encounter to each other through gravity. When this happens, the center of the galaxies will certainly merge, pouring gas towards the center, igniting an explosion for sure This will create star formation A hundred times faster Than a galaxy does today Says the astronomers For example, take our tides In the ocean Attracted to the gravitational pull From the moon's motion 
When the moon is on one side of the earth, the ocean is higher on that side pulled by the moon's gravitational force. The galactic tide is similar, you can see. It all has to do with this thing called gravity. A galactic tide's a tidal force so real, experienced by objects by gravitational field of a galaxy such as the Milky Way. But these types of tides only happen in space. Thanks for watching KLT. Please subscribe to this channel, like our videos, and check out the KLT merch store.